Assalamualaikum everyone. So how do you identify al isim? Right. So in this video, we are going to explain the three indicators or three signs of al isim. If you see these signs, so this word you can categorize them as al isim. Number one, right? Okay. Number one is that it begins with alif lam, right? So for example, uh, a book. So the uh, in Arabic language is kitab. So when the word kitab begins with alif lam here like this, okay. So the word kitab is a noun, right? So what does it mean when uh, a word begins with alif lam? Okay, it means the. So al kitab means the book, right? That is the first. Uh, indication for al isim. So, what is the second indication for al isim? Right. The second indication is that it ends with a tanwin. Right. So, what is tanwin? Tanwin basically are double strokes at the end of a word. Right. It can be a double stroke above or double stroke below or domatain. Right. For example, the word madrasa. So madrasa in English language means uh, school, right? So madrasa tun, okay, it ends with a tanwin over here. So mad when a word ends with a tanwin, mad like madrasa tun here, it is al isim. So what does it mean? It means a school. So one uh, important thing to note is that. A noun cannot begin with alif lam and at the same time end with tanwin. So you cannot say al kitabun or al madrasatun. Why? Because that will mean the a book. So you either say uh, the book al kitabu or a book kitabun. So that is the first two indication for al isim. Okay. So what if an isim does not begin with alif lam, or and does not end with tanwin? Okay. Like these two words here. Okay. Musa and Mustashfa. Right. In this case. So um, it uh, in this case. Musa is the name of a person, right? So when you hear the word Musa, you um, immediately visualize, okay, a man, right? So that is the indication that this is an isim. Another one is that Mustashfa. Mustashfa means hospital. Okay, it cannot end with a tanwin, right? So, um, but. If you know the meaning, then it is uh, a building. So a building is a noun. So it's al isim, right? Yeah. So but al mustajfa can have alif lam at the begin in the beginning of the word. So the, when you put alif lam in al mustajfa, it becomes the hospital. So to sum up, in this video we have uh, explained. What are the indicate? How to identify al isim? Okay, so you identify al isim with the three indications. So number one is that it either begins with alif lam. Number two, it either ends with a tanwin at the end of a word, right? Number three, it is easy to visualize. You know, so when there is no alif lam, there is no tanwin. If it's easy to visualize, then it is al isim. So there you have it. I see you in the next video.